Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to beautiful Sarasota, Florida. We're on the Ringling Complex, and if you watched the last video, you saw the first two buildings of the tour, mostly of history of the circus. Now we're going to check out the John and Mabel Ringling home, their mansion behind me, and also the art museum. What John left for the community of Sarasota and the state of Florida, and all of you, forever to be seen art from all over the world. Hope you enjoy. Welcome, friends. How's it going? Good. The items in this home are very ornate. There's a lot of gold, gold leaf, a lot of red. Interesting. Some tapestries. Like, that's what you would call this. A lot of art. All the walls in here are wood. Real carpentry. I'm not a vampire, I promise. This is just a really old mirror that's lost its mirror. See. Tap room. Sounds like a good place for me. Too bad it's not open for business. It's cool. Speaking of carpentry, that is a, a lot of it on that ceiling. This is the ballroom. Beautiful. All over the museum are these QR codes you can scan an audio tour of each of the rooms, some of the items. John and Mabel. Some dining room. A lot of green. Oh, pardon me, the breakfast room. Interesting. The kitchen keeps going. It's very large. More refrigeration. Little cake maker. Cool. That is the coolest egg holder I have ever seen. Well, the second floor is closed. They're doing some remodeling up there, but the last room in the first floor that you can visit has some photography of the rooms upstairs. So let's take a look. Some bedrooms, looks like a pretty big ballroom or a theater room there. A marble bathroom, it's very interesting. And probably the coolest area in the house. I'd love to see what that looked like on the rooftop. The color of the stained glass, too. This would be the party house. This deck or veranda, I guess you would call it, is it's huge. It's got a walkway that goes all the way around. A lot of part of it as well. Part 
probably where you can get on a boat down there at the bottom. It's amazing. It's such a pleasant day to walk this property. The weather is so temperate. It's quiet here. You can smell the ocean water, the salt water. It's a beautiful place. Hey, raccoon. Even the critters are out for walks today. It's so nice. On our way to the last building on the tour, the Art Museum, we walk through Mabel's Rose Garden. Let's go check it out. A side detour here to the underneath side of the banyan trees. Isn't this cool? This property is amazing. It's so big, it just keeps going and going. As I forementioned, John owned 25% of, well, John and Mabel owned 25% of Sarasota. And upon his death, or before, I'm not sure exactly when, he sold it all for a dollar to the city. It's very cool. I'd like to know more about this guy. The museum offers 10,000 different pieces of art. That includes all the art that's out here in the lawn, the sculptures, and, and all of the buildings on the complex. So it's not just here in the museum, but this is where most of it is. This is a collection of mostly European art. John and Mabel traveled Europe a lot, and they acquired entire collections of art over time. Some very notable collections of art. So let's go check them out. Sing Sung and Wei Fong Chow Center for Asian Art. Let's see if it's open. All right. I love Japanese art and imagery, and this exhibit is all about that. It's very cool. This next exhibit is Connecting Cultures, Cyprus, India, and China. some intense wood carving. The original Captain Morgan. Uh, not really. Captain Lakapala. <laughs> Maybe that's it. This is a nice exhibit. It's mostly pottery, well, all pottery, from India to China. And you can see the difference in art styles in that pottery, even what the medium was, the ceramics. A cool exhibit. Did not want to be this guy or girl.
This exhibit is really deep. This gallery is full of European art from the 15 to 16, 1700s. Some very old pieces of art here. It's amazing. painting. This painting is huge. Just the frame probably weighs 100 pounds on this thing. I wonder about these frames and who made these things. It's incredible the woodworking. A lot of times I like the framework better than I like the art itself. Oh, whoops. This is Italian art. I've seen some large pieces of art before. Of course, probably all of you have, but there's a lot of large pieces of art in this gallery. These things are like 20 feet tall or bigger. Unbelievable. The museum security guard just told me that when they shipped these from the uh, Duke of Westminster, where they were purchased in 1926, they rolled them up and put them on a ship and then built the frames here all five of these have the same frame, and the, the uh, gallery was built around those five pieces. The other two are in the Louvre. You know, this type of European art, this Renaissance art, and different styles that we're seeing today are not really my favorite, but I do appreciate it. And I appreciate it a little bit more because each of these paintings and many of the pieces of art in the museum have a description of what's going on. Some of these, you just can't tell. If you're into it and you're an art history type of person, this is pretty rad. The museum goes all the way around this entire complex. It's just different galleries, 21 of them through this entire building. And this building was built as a museum. Hey. This gallery is full of more modern art, different mediums. Looks like wood and fabric. It's acrylic and paper. 
cardboard. Very interesting piece made with plywood. I like that. I don't know what's more valuable, the art itself or the plywood that is painted on these days. Here to the side of the galleries is this little sitting room. Very nice. Next gallery, a modern painting. Modern in comparison to much of the museum, which is much older. These paintings are from the 50s and 60s, it appears. This is an exhibit about block printing. Very cool. All of these five blocks in series create this image. This gallery is all about block prints. Cool cat. From what I understand, the sculptures on the property are all replicas. There's nothing original out here, but they are replicas of very famous pieces from Europe and around the world that John and Mabel wanted to show off to the locals of Sarasota and, and to all of us watching today. Aside from my one circus experience when I was a kid and the circus came to town, I didn't really have an interest in that type of entertainment. You know, I've got some friends that are involved in the circus industry now doing trapeze work and things of such. So I've had a little tie to it or interest in that type of performance art. I do appreciate that. I really think this is cool that you have a professional clown that made this fortune and then he turned his fortune over to all of us. <laughs> I think it's really cool. It's something to aspire to. A lot of lions on the property. Now, friends, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for, the museum gift shop tour. Oh, beat me. We do have a lot of stuff for kids here. Some coloring books. Toys, you can make your own kaleidoscope. That's cool. Cool. It's cool. They got these little plastic vases that look like stained glass. That's neat. Got a whole bunch of postcards here. I love postcards. Some more books on the property. Books on the mansion here. Time Magazine must have had something to do with this place. It's another random art books. Friends, the Ringling Museum and Complex is awesome. It is definitely worth the time to go check out. It's not cheap to get in, it's $25 a ticket, plus $10 if you want to see the mansion. At least the first floor of it right now they say the second floor will be open in the fall so you can look forward to that friends if you like what you're seeing here hit like and hit subscribe and i will see you in the next video